Hello, everyone. My name is Felipe Queiroz. I am a solution architect born and based in Brazil. And today I'm very excited to share with you guys uh, the, what I call the Ultimate 7 Minutes Guide on how to become an Elastic Certified Professional. But first of all, I would like to thank all the Elastic community and certification team for all the support they give to me and also uh, the opportunity to be here talking about a topic that definitely changed my career. <laughs> so to get started, our agenda consists basically in four topics where we start with the Elastic Certification Program, then we move on why I think you should consider to become an Elastic Certified Professional. Then we are going to see a little bit of my personal experience uh, since I got certified and to sum up everything, we have some tips for the exam. Let's move on, starting with the Elastic Certification Program, where here we have three certifications, starting with the Elastic Certified Engineer exam, where here you need, uh, you basically need to master everything related to Elasticsearch. So you need to know how to build a query, how to set up a cluster. And an interesting point here on the Certified Engineer exam is, is that you are not going to see anything related to Kibana, Logstash, or Beats. Then we moving on with the Elastic Certified Analyst exam, where here you need to become a, a Jedi when it comes to Kibana. You need to know everything, how to create a dashboard, how to create a visualization, and even how to get machine learning jobs working properly on your environment. And the last one is the Observability Engineer exam, where here you need to master everything related to the observability stack of Elastics which consists basically in APM, logs, uptime, and metrics. So that's it, let's move on. Uh, why I think you should consider uh, to become an Elastic Certified? You may be asking why, and that's a great question, and I brought here some interesting data for you to consider to think about it. Uh, to start, I think that we are at this moment with a current gap for people who have the certification. We only have 2,500 certified professionals on the world for 17,000 companies that uses the Elastic subscription. Uh, this means that we have one Elastic certified professional for seven companies, which means a total gap. Also, it's a good uh, to remember that these companies use Elasticsearch on a lot of business cases and even some critical ones. So. For them, it's always good to have people who understand Elastic pro products deeply nearby. And to sum up, I honestly think that being an Elastic Certified Professional may get you on an advantage position when applying to job opportunities or even help you on your current job with your own Elastic deployment. Also, if you want to work at Elastic eventually, which at this moment have 3,500 job opportunities open on their LinkedIn page, being an Elastic Certified Engineer will definitely bring some bonus points. And this is not what I am saying. This is what they are saying on their LinkedIn job descriptions. So uh, now I would like to share with you guys a little bit of my personal experience since I got certified because I consider myself a good example of what I have said on the previous slide. I started to study for the certification back in 2019 because I wanted to take another technical step with the Elastic products. But after I got certified, a lot of cool things happened to me. The first one, it was that uh, it definitely leveraged my knowledge on my job at that time, making possible for me to improve all the clusters that I had to work with on that time. Also, becoming one of the few certified engineers gave me a lot of confidence to contribute and share uh, with the community all the knowledge that I had writing articles, recording videos, and even speaking at meetups. And after all of that, I got recognized by Elastic two times as an Elastic Gold contributor. In other words, becoming an Elastic Certified Engineer has contributed in my career and personally, bringing me confidence, uh, professionally bringing recognition and all the community stuff, and even financially. 
And the last thing that I would like to share about my personal experience is as I got certified engineer first, it was much more easier to get the other two certifications because basically when you understand uh, how the heart of everything works, which is Elasticsearch, understand how observability or Kibana works become much more easy. To sum up everything, I, if you got interested uh, on how to get certified, here are some great tips that helped me through my journey. The first one is that you definitely should watch all the Elastics webinars about all the three certifications. It will definitely help you to understand how the exams works, how does it look like, how does it calculate your score. And on these webinars, you should always expect to receive some good information for your exam. Another thing is that you should study all the topics from the official exam page expects you to know because the exam may only have 10 to 12 questions on average, but you may see like 30 topics, but it's better, it's better for you to know how to handle all the possible scenarios uh, of questions instead to get to the exam day and see the exactly topic that you did not study at all. Moving on, this is a practical exam, so be prepared for real-world tasks. You can also earn partial points on the questions, so do not leave it all in blank. Try your best to solve at least it partial. And you should definitely learn how to navigate through the Elastic Docs because you can use it, but it's harder than you can imagine it to navigate it on them, on it. So that's all for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, that, talk, that talk. If you want to get in touch with me, here are all my contacts and feel free to send me a message on any of them. Thanks, everyone.